one of the more important things that I think I've learned over the past couple of years in ministry is that I needed to learn how to rest, how to take a break, how to Sabbath. I think in church culture, we we talk about rest to our members decently well, but I think we struggle with pastors and staff at churches with having the conversation about rest, especially because as pastors, we work on Sundays. Like, yes, we are spending time in worship and hearing the word and, and being with our people, but ultimately at the end of the day, Sunday is a day where we have to put on our work hat and go, whether you're going to be preaching and teaching, whether you're running an external ministry, whether you're in charge of making sure that Sunday runs properly, Sunday is often seen as a work day for pastors or for any church staff. And what I've had to learn over the past four or five years is how to rest well. There have been seasons, especially right when I started, where I didn't know how to rest and I just assumed that Saturday and Sunday were going to be my my days off and I just wasn't going to work. But what I realized was that after being in the rhythm of, of working on Sundays, I remember my first Sunday where I was at church running student ministry and I came home after a long day fell asleep for 17 hours. I was exhausted. And I knew that if I wanted to keep this pace up, if I wanted to do this week in and week out, I had to set up some healthy rest boundaries. So before I run out of sunlight, I wanna give you the three things that I've tried to learn over the past couple of years and hopefully can help encourage you in your journey to figure out how to rest well. The first one is pretty simple and it's that you need to find your Sabbath. Sunday can't be it because you're working. So you need to find a day during the week where you can just rest. I know a lot of churches choose either Monday or Friday. At my church, it's Friday. And so all of our church staff has Friday off. And so I don't do anything on Friday. I Sabbath. Now, Sabbath just doesn't mean being lazy and sitting around all day, but my Sabbath takes into consideration three things. The first one is extended time with the Lord. I want to make sure that on my day off, when I'm not doing work, when I'm not studying for a sermon, when I'm not doing church work, that I am spending intentional time with Jesus. And so I try to spend an extended period of time with Jesus on my Sabbath. The second thing, this one took a little figuring out, but I needed to learn how to hobby well. I need to figure out how to hobby well. And all that means is finding something that I'm passionate about outside of the four walls of a church building and doing it for fun. So for me, that's content creation. I absolutely love making videos, editing videos, recording the videos. That is my passion. And so I learned how to hobby well by starting a handful of different YouTube channels where I could explore this creative outlet. I also enjoy watching NHL. I'm a huge Huge Tampa Bay Lightning fan and so I watch sports and I play video games and Fridays especially I focus I make sure that I have time set apart to hobby well to do something that I enjoy now it's really easy for those hobbies to creep over into my work life and and that's where boundaries have to come into play but as pastors we don't need to take a step back from things that we enjoy in fact those are the things that really fill us up they're things that give us energy we have hobbies and passions for a reason And usually when I'm spending time in a hobby or a passion or making videos or watching hockey, I am resting and it does my heart and soul really good. And the last thing that I do on my Sabbath is clean my apartment. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but my wife doesn't have Fridays off. And so I'm usually at my apartment all alone with my dog. And so I like to clean up my apartment because I know going into my next week, starting on Sunday, I perform best, I work best, I function the best in a clean space. And so I take time and I clean the bathroom, I clean the kitchen, I vacuum the floors, and I make sure that the apartment looks and smells good. It's super simple, but it helps me mentally decompress, relax, and be stress-free. And so those are the three things that I do on my Sabbath. I spend extended time with the Lord. I have figured out how to hobby well, and I also clean my apartment. One thing that I do every single day, regardless of if I'm Sabbathing or not, is I work out. Now this does me really good, and it also just helps me keep my body in shape. It's something that growing up I didn't really care a lot about, but as I've gotten older, I've just come to the understanding that I wanna take 
good care of the temple that God has given me. And I realized that working out just a handful of minutes each day can help me pursue that without taking up a ton of time. So that's something that I've implemented this year that I've really began to enjoy. And it also gives me an outlet just to relieve some stress, especially coming home from a long day of work. Hopping on the, the stationary bike or going to the gym and lifting weights has been something that has really helped me decompress at the end of the day. And so guys, if those things were helpful for you, let me know down in the comments what video should I make next. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, take care and God bless.